Indonesian ex-Muslim sentenced to 10 years in jail for criticizing Islam. On April 6th, a 56-year-old Indonesian former Muslim cleric turned Christian YouTuber, Muhammad Case, was sentenced to 10 years in prison for allegedly posting offensive videos. Case reportedly claimed that the Prophet Muhammad is known to God, quote unquote, because devils surround him. He was arrested in August 2021 after many complaints were filed against him. Case has been in detention since his arrest, where, according to the Persecution International Christian Concern, he suffered inhumane treatment. According to local news, another inmate, a detained police official named Napoleon Bonaparte, beat Case and forced him to eat his excrement. Prosecutors insisted on a 10-year jail sentence for Case. According to UCA News, the prosecutors charged Case with spreading fake information, which carries a heavier penalty instead of charging him with blasphemy. Blasphemy cases in Indonesia have a five-year maximum jail sentence, while, while misinformation charges can go as high as 10 years. Case's lawyer said that they would appeal the ruling. Wait, so is how is this misinformation spreading? What was he saying? Exactly. I, okay, obviously, well, would the, it take the, as an Islamic country, wouldn't every blasphemy case also be a misinformation case? Because like you're spreading misinformation about Islam, technically. Well, I or, think that's the angle that they took. Obviously, I don't speak the language. These court proceedings aren't available to me. I just had to look at what was written in the news and they don't talk too much about the reasoning of the prosecutors or why the judge decided to go with this type of sentencing. Besides the fact that they have highlighted and pointed out the fact that there is heavy hypocrisy going on because they highlighted that there was a case of um, a ex-Christian who converted to Islam, he was arrested for blasphemy against Christianity and prosecuted similarly, but he only got five months. Whereas this guy used to be a Muslim, became a Christian, you know, so they're opposite to each other. He gets well, 10 because years. Because one of them is not, one of them is blasphemy. Okay. But the other one is misinformation because if you speak something bad about Islam, that's that's also it's because it's not just blasphemy; it's also misinformation. Because it's like objectively the, true. Is that supposed because, to be the reason? Yeah, because yeah, because at least when if you blaspheme against Christianity, okay, you're technically not saying anything is un, untrue, okay. You're just blaspheming, so blasphemy laws apply to you. But if you say something wrong about Islam, not only you're blaspheming, given that Islam is objectively true you're also spreading misinformation so we could give you 10 years <laughs> so i, I don't know i, I don't know, know if it's this so is how crazy. it works just, yeah yeah so by the way uh, ghost bunny is doing a double take on like the poop eating part of your story do you want to explain the poop yeah how ghost poop bunny eating? is saying forced him to eat what so <laughs> i don't maybe some people will remember a few months ago we actually covered this story that hmm. although it was reported on differently at the time for so <laughs> This is it throws me off because the guy who did this to the this ex-Muslim guy, the perpetrator, his name is Napoleon Bonaparte. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So this is, this is the weirdest story in the it's world. It's like so crazy. <laughs> um so Napoleon Bonaparte is a like disgraced former police officer who's in jail for like corruption or something. And um he's presumably a Muslim, or if that's what my memory is telling me. And at the time, it we reported that he didn't force Muhammad Case. No, so wait. No, no, so the, this, we reported wait. that he was he th was throwing his own poop at Muhammad oh. Case. <laughs> oh, wait. So we have a police whose name is Napoleon Bonaparte, for, who was in jail, yes. finding out that he's in jail with an ex-Muslim. A blasphemer. At the same time blaspheming yes. as ex-muslim and he didn't like that so he threw his poop at him <laughs> so yes. this is the story okay yes Amazing. and <laughs> well now it's being reported that he was like forced to eat it or something 
Uh, uh, so it's not just throwing also, it at him. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Classic. There was also a lot of um, reports of him just like straight up being tortured or like really badly abused. Um, Unbelievable. Yeah, in in jail. Like I saw the photos. Like they're horrible. Um, you saw the photos? Oh my god. Okay. Oh yeah. I mean, he his face was just black and blue. Um, oh. they went after him in jail. Like it's horrible. Um, and now he was sentenced to 10 years in prison. So hopefully that this gets repealed, but I think it's ridiculous that well, so I didn't know that's the same guy. This is the same guy that had all yeah. that stuff happen to him. And now he's going through this ordeal. So yeah. after all that poop eating and torture and poop being thrown at him, now he has to stay in jail for another 10 years. Well, yes, unless they're able to, they're, I think he should know, get time off because of the, I think he should get time off because of the poop. I don't think that's going to happen. No. Okay. But yeah, this is what you get for being an ex-Muslim YouTuber in Indonesia. Because uh, he has hundreds of videos, you know, purposefully trying to insult Islam and insult Which as we are often public. reminded of, we are, which is, as Reza Aslan mentions, Islam can't be that bad because look at Indonesia, right? This oh, is oh Indonesia God. and Malay Indonesia and Malaysia are often used to, are given us as examples of how Islam is not necessarily that bad because look how moderate and advanced Malaysian uh, Indonesia are. Well, like, yeah, it, this is, here's your example. This is the best you could get with Islam, so. I know, it's ridiculous. Yeah. And what I did appreciate was that there's there's been a lot of human rights organizations who have come out against what's happening to Muhammad Case. And, um, they're pointing out the hypocrisy of his treatment versus the treatment of this um, ex-Christian Muslim guy who he was arrested and convicted for calling the Bible fiction. He only got five months. Muhammad is getting 10 years. And you know, so here's a quote that I thought was good. Quote, the Indian government should promptly repeal the blasphemy law, said Andreas uh, Harsono, senior researcher for Human Rights Watch Indonesia, told ICC. Both Christian preacher Muhammad Case and Muslim cleric Yahya Waluni need not stay a single night in prison because of the toxic law. So basically saying neither of these people should be prosecuted or put in jail whatsoever for what they have to say about their former faith, no matter how offensive it is. Um, Eric is saying there's no apostasy law in Indonesia, but the blasphemy law is in full swing there. Yes. Is it, doesn't Indonesia have some official religions that everybody has to have like five religions? Um, so they have like, I believe roughly five like approved religions, but in Indonesia in general, there are, they have this concept that starts with a P I can't remember the name of it, but they have this concept that starts with a P that, reflects like their five values that they have as a country and it's it's a very um like native indonesian concept for their own construction of democracy um a but a lot of the even like the hard the like the super salafis like they oppose it they oppose this um okay so like, but the understanding indonesian is, I social think maybe... construction because it, it it calls for like harmony and right. um in in synchronicity between beliefs and faiths and obviously yeah. they're yeah, completely obviously. opposed no no that. but my point is like okay so uh, you know you can you can be an apostate in indonesia but you can be an apostate by switching from one of these five approved religions to another one right and as long as you don't blaspheme so blasphemy is not okay apostasy is okay but you can't just leave all of them. You have to just leave from one to go from one to another. I think that's how it is. I'm not sure, right? Um, mm, I'm not I, exactly I, sure. Yeah, maybe correct us if we're wrong about this. But um, I'm just still, I'm, I'm just like under, uh, so surprised about like, I don't understand. Like, I'm noticing there are people out there in the world that use poop as a punishment, okay? Especially with this whole um what's his name i don't what's his name muhammad case no 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 um uh, celebrities johnny depp 
Yeah, Johnny Depp, like, look, like, more, <laughs> and his w former wife, like, that they were using poop as punishment. She was using poop as punishment as well, allegedly. Dude, that right? whole situation is crazy. No, but, like, I'm 100% is this a thing? Team, team Johnny Depp. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, but I'm just, like, it's just so weird to me. Like, people are like, oh, I don't like this person. What do, how do I, oh, I, I, I guess my poop is a good tool. It's like, very what? petty. It's very petty. It's meant to be just like grotesque and insulting. And also, I think um <laughs> Ghost Bunny saying her nickname is Amber Turd. Oh my god. <laughs> I think it's also very primal in a way. I think it's very animalistic. And I don't mean that in a dehumanizing Wait, don't, way. Just okay, frankly. no, no, yeah, don't say it because YouTube might think we're dehumanizing people. Because and like this is what primates yeah, yeah. do i know is don't they... say that though youtube really has is very sensitive about this okay so when um it's just a fact of life it's not yeah like try arguing with youtube <laughs> like we can't okay so no so we're not dehumanizing anybody we're just comparing you know certain behavior and uh, you know so these are obviously humans we're talking about okay we're not dehumanizing everybody youtube okay we're just talking about whether there are certain behavior in humans and animals that are similar to each other okay and and um, humans are animals okay so and we are primates. Do, yeah we are primates so please like don't strike us down okay um okay cool I think, it, it, I think this it, you know, it, it comes from that instinctually because it's like a way to spread disease as well. Like, I think that's why we weaponize it. I don't know. I've never felt the urge to weaponize it. But anyways, <laughs> does this, does this ex-Muslim Christian man have any chance of getting out of this situation or no? I have no idea. I don't, I don't I'm not, I, I'm not aware of like how likely that is given the political situation. I hope so. He has appeals available to him. I don't know how okay. likely they are to be successful, though. Considering that he got the book thrown at him for this, in comparison to the other guy, I don't, I don't know if I would be too hopeful. Okay. All right. Can we... Uh, do we move to the next news? Um, yes, but the live chat is making me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> what have I already saying? Oh, just about the poop flinging, like a lot of good comments that I can't highlight because of freaking YouTube. Yeah. Wait, we got another donation. I don't know from where. Oh, no name donated to us. Guys, like if you see anybody donating, please let us know because we don't see it on StreamYard. Oh so my goodness. So much, no name donated 100 Swedish Krona. Thank you so much. Guys, we're almost at $1,000. This is amazing. Uh... Thank you so much for that. Hey guys, if you're a fan of Blasphemy and Sexy Callie, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest Blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.